父上、私が旅をする前に、父上からお言葉をいただきたいのですが。いいだろう、息子よ。まず、お前は旅の重要性について、理解しているだろうな。理解しています。私たちの村の未来は、お前にかかっているんだぞ。はい。警告しておくが、お前の探しているもの、その力は、たくさんの人間が求めているものだ。自分を信じ、他の人間を信用するんじゃないぞ。はい。神のご加護。ありがとうございます、父上。じゃあな、息子よ。万が一のために、レリックを拝見させていただいても、よろしいでしょうかもちろん、得られるご加護は、すべて受けていくべきだからな。見よ、これが宇宙全体で、一番強力な、創造物だ。Hey, what's up, guys? So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little short movie I made with the meta human characters. Now, that video is over, obviously, but what I'm gonna talk about now are just some of the roadblocks that I ran into when making this little short clip. When I got the Facewear Studio trial, I think almost a month ago, I knew I wanted to do something with it because it's a pretty darn good tool. I, and I know I've been making a lot of videos with people with helmets because of the fact that. I don't think the Live Link Face app is there just yet, but I really can't complain because it's free. So I wanted to do something before my trial went out. So I started planning and doing all this planning last week or two weeks ago, I believe, with the Meta Human Character 4,、uh, because obviously I was the only one available at the time. So let's begin with environment. For the environment, I used the same environment that I purchased last year, which I believe is actually the first environment I've ever purchased in the Epic Marketplace. It's super epic. It's just too bad that the guy d o n t even make maps anymore. He only made two maps and that was it, so it's sad.、Uh, I did, however, add some Mega Scans asset in this map so it doesn't look completely the same as if you were just buy it straight out. So that's pretty darn cool. I absolutely think this map. Environment looks amazing.、Uh, if you don't know what it is, go check it out. It's the Shinto Shrine. Secondly, we're going to talk about characters. I knew the character was going to be Meta Human 4 because I was the only Meta Human out at the time. And the whole plan of it was I wanted a little samurai scene, Kurosawa kind of deal with a father and a son having a conversation. Now, Obviously, at the time, there was no other meta humans, so my plan was using a full on covered masked samurai, and then I was going to use meta human force head and paste it on a samurai's body. Which brings us to the costume that I used for this short skit. So, whenever I'm looking for CG models, I'll look to this guy's website first because he is super talented, and if you go to this site, you're going to notice. Majority of his models I have because he's just that good. And this, and this website, I think his name is Michael, and I don't want to butcher his surname.、Uh, he is German.、Um, whenever you go there, you're going to see this bad A samurai. Now, the problem is, like I said previously, majority of the high quality models you're going to find out there are not going to be compatible with Unreal Engine 4. If they are, they're probably going to be the low poly version, which is usually. Eh, you know, for the most part. So I know right away that when I purchased that model, I would have to convert it to Unreal Engine 4 somehow, meaning I would have to bring it into Maya or 3ds Max or Blender export FBX, like I've showed you guys in my course, my beginner's course. But the problem with that is the rig that he had on that samurai was not compatible with Unreal Engine 4. So I hit up Gore that I met in CG Trader, I think, or ArtStation. He usually rigs a lot of stuff for me now. So I told him, hey man, I'm gonna take a look at this、um, samurai. Can you rig it for Unreal Engine 4? And he said, yes, let me go do it. And then I told him, I need one without a head and then one with the head. Because, like I said, I'm gonna need the fully body with the head and mask for the dad and the father. And for the son, I was gonna put Meta Human 4, his head on that. 
uh, headless body and paste it uh, like I did with that tutorial I did two months ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check it out. It's about, I think, two months ago when I made it, when MetaHuman first came out. Basically, what you're doing is you're copying and pasting the MetaHuman's head onto a different mesh and combining it so it looks like they're one mesh. So that's that. So I got my environment, I got my characters, and I got my costume, and I got my armor all ready and set up. Okay, so the next thing that was kind of like a roadblock was I knew whenever I decided to do this short, I wanted the language to be Japanese. Problem is, I don't speak Japanese. So I went to a website um, and looked for a voice actor, and I did luckily find somebody uh, that was able and willing to voice act for me. So when I messaged them, I told them I'm going to need you to record a video and audio at the same time so I can copy and paste your facial expressions onto a 3D model using Facewear Studio. So this is where that Facewear Studio comes into play. So he said he was going to do it, and I was like, okay, cool. And then a day after, I said, hey, man, my trial is running out. So if I give you, like, extra $30, can you do it, like, today? So he did. And he got it done. It, it just it was amazing. He sent it to me. It was done, arranged. It was perfect. So that's what I used for the facial expressions in this short skit was his video, which takes us to the next part of this, the body mocap. Now I knew <laughs> I was not gonna be able to find somebody who has a motion capture suit that spoke fluent in Japanese. So what I ended up doing was I put his video, his video of him speaking the lines of the script that I wrote in the toilet for, you know, when I was there for a good 15 minutes. I had that video up and I put on my perception neuron suit. And what I did was I played that video and I recorded the motion capture. And in the corner of my eye, I was looking at that video. I was mimicking and copying his head movements on that video that he sent me for the facial uh, expressions. So basically, what I wanted to try to do was mimic the same exact head movement he did with my full body motion capture suit. I don't think it worked 100%, but for an untrained eye, I don't think you would notice it. But you can tell that the body and the head were kind of moving, not really syncing correctly. And that's because I had to motion capture my body and I had to take his facial motion capture and use that together in Unreal Engine 4 to make that character come to life. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something new today. And I just wanted to tell you guys some behind the scenes. So maybe if you guys run into this kind of issues, I kind of just told you how I solved them. Because as you all know, I've only been using Unreal for about 10 months, going on 11 months. So I am not a pro whatsoever. Majority of the stuff that I'm doing in the channel are just jerry-rigging. Finding things that work pretty much however it will work i that's what i do so if you have any solutions at all that you can tell me to make my process better i would definitely appreciate that uh speaking of appreciating again thank you all for everybody who's purchased my uh course on selfie udemy and artstation i'm actually getting a lot of good reviews on udemy right now thank you all for everybody who's left me a feedback on there it's helping me quite a bit because now I was able to afford a gorilla pod. I don't have to put my camera on top of books and boxes. Thanks to you guys out there. I really do appreciate all the help. And additionally, this little setup that I have for this short, I'm actually planning on using for my next course as well. So my next course is going to be how to create a CG short film with metahuman characters, which is what you just saw. So it's going to be pretty exciting. It is going to be a little bit more intense in a way, not like action. Although I would really like to have some action in there. I'm actually talking to a couple of motion capture company right now to see if they can give me some action motion capture that I can include in the course, but I haven't heard anything back yet. So maybe one day I can just do that. But for now, I'm going to focus on how to make a CG short film from creating a character in MetaHuman app to Unreal Engine 4 to exporting. So it's going to be really exciting. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm starting to plan that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that should be coming out here real soon. 
All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.